That is really good. Hey guys, I hope you all are having a great day and today I am going to be talking about a book review. What? So today I'm going to be doing a book review and I know it's been a long time since I've done a book review so I really wanted to do one because I'm not reading a lot this summer. I have a lot more things that I have to do than I thought I would. So I have less time to read and <laughs> I'm sad about it but I have things to do, I have work, I have a lot of stuff happening. So yeah, so for today's review I'm going to be reviewing, if you've seen on my Goodreads page, you know what book I'm going to be reviewing and you probably also know by the title of this video. But anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the hidden package. I never know how to pronounce that word. Package? Package? Peck? Package? Anyways, by Claire Baum. And this is a part of a series of the Holocaust Survivors Memoirs. So obviously this is a book about World War II. And it's a book, Claire Rome was a Jew, which um, is obvious. She went hiding and this happened when she was really young. It happened when she was 10, I think. I'm not, I'm really not sure, but... She was a kid with her younger sister Ollie, so well Olga, but she always called her Ollie. So um, yeah, so basically we follow her story, her journey, where she went hiding. She was separated from her parents because they sent her and her sister away from them to protect them and to put them in a safer house. So I thought I was really courageous from the parents to do something like that because they were willing to give away their children to make to put them in a safe place and they didn't know when they would see them again so that was hard to read about and that was just the beginning of the book so throughout the story Claire and Ollie are sent into first a one house which they stay like a week or so because it was just for the time that they find another house they went there from 1943 to 1945. No, 42 to 45. They grew closer to this person which they called Tent Nell. I thought it was really hard to read about because you get like an epilogue of Tent Nell's a point of view about all of this and it was so hard to read about that because she was so willing to do anything possible for those two little girls that she didn't even know. She took them, she kept them with her and when they were missing food she was really biking a lot to go and take food and coming back it was hard for her to do all of this and I'm really surprised that she did all of that because she wasn't obligated to go and accept these little girls she could have said I don't have enough food for them they would starve, I would starve, that wouldn't be a great idea but she did anyways and that was really impressive I thought they were saved by uh, the Canadian army in 1948 and after the war she waited five years before going with her family in Canada to go and live with a Canadian passport well a visitor passport which in here they became Canadians I'm really proud of being a Canadian because I feel like my country has done something for these people because we well we Canada accepted a lot of people during World War II and I think that it is a big thing that we did and I'm really proud of what we did and how we uh, welcomed these people. I wasn't there obviously to witness how these people were welcomed but I really hope that they were well welcomed and yeah. At some point it was hard to read because Claire was starting to talk about the other kids and that the fact that sometimes she couldn't get out of the house to play with other kids because there were people that would start checking the houses and they would have to hide in a special place because Tent Nail doesn't have kids so she's not supposed to have kids with her in her house so they would have to hide them and these moments were hard to read because Claire was always writing something like I just hope that they won't find us if they find us what's gonna happen to us I don't know I didn't know what was going to happen to us to Tent Nail I didn't know what we would do so 
These kind of moments were really, really hard to read. But it still is a really, really tiny book. So it's really uh, easy to get into it. And yeah, so we see sometimes the letters that she wrote to her parents is obviously written in German, but there's a traduction after. And yeah, so that was it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you've read any World War II or World War I books, I would really like to get suggestions because I really like World Wars uh, books. Uh, don't suggest the book thief. I read that one. I read it. And I've also read Private Peaceful by someone, which I don't remember. But yeah, don't put it in the comments down below. I've already read it, as well as The Book Thief. And yeah, I've now read a lot of World Wars books, but I would really like to read more about it. So if you have any suggestions, books that you really liked, comment down below. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time with a new video. Goodbye.